Let's take a close look at the inspection and installation of a new main closing loop. Main closing loop can be inspected as it sits in the rig. Every time you pack and close your rig, you can inspect the loop from the top of the loop down to where it rests inside the grommet. You're looking for frayed wear, cuts, nicks that might cause the loop to break prematurely. To look at the part of the loop that you can't see, you need to open up the main closing loop retainer flap usually some sort of elastic covering to hide the tail or a tuck flap to keep it contained so it doesn't fall out. Pull the loop out. You want to look at the part of the main closing loop right here above the knot. That's where the washer rests against. A lot of these washer, washers do have sharp edges. You also want to look just above where the washer is where the closing loop goes to the grommet. Sometimes a grommet can have a sharp edge too and lead to premature wear on the main closing loop. If you decide you need to, to uh, replace the main closing loop, get your new loop. Make sure it's finger trapped appropriately. Determine if you're going to make the loop longer, shorter, or the same length. Make two overhand knots. Pull tightly, one right after the other. Make sure your washer, whether it be a new washer or the washer that you had on your own on your previous loop, doesn't have any sharp edges and also that the hole is small enough that the knots won't pass through. You can then insert your main closing loop back to the grommet, hide your tail, make sure that the closing loop retainer is operating properly and is secured. Recheck your loop to a final inspection and then you are ready to finish closing your rig and go jump again.